Thank you for listening and welcome to the Life Podcast, a proud member of the Eventide Entertainment Podcast Network. I'm your host, Don Smith. Scotty Mays sits in as guest co-host this week as we talk to Daniel the Super Diesel Hood about his upcoming projects as he prepares to step down from his seat of power as president of Wright State University's Comic Book League. If you enjoy the show, like and follow The Life 1069 on Facebook and Don Smith Comedy on Twitter, or tune in live on Wednesdays from noon to 2 p.m. on WWSU 106.9 FM, or you can stream the show live at WWSU1069.org. The brutal presence overwhelms me. The brutal presence overwhelms me. It is time. Hey. Yay. Yes. Welcome to the Life Radio Show. It is noonish. It is it is like it's like ten after now, or twelve after. Let's see. Twelve afternoon. Uh thank you, Patrick, for getting us back online. Uh WWSU uh it, it the computer took a dump. It just it just went down. Uh we Nothing's blamed changed. it. On, Nothing's changed. <laughs> Nothing's changed. We're still WWSU and the computer is still crap. Uh wasn't in the budget. Budget cuts. You know what are you yeah, going to do? Neither was do? this broken armrest. Neither was this was uh, not in the neither, budget either. Neither was Scotty's broken armrest. Uh, welcome to the Life Radio Show. I'm your host Don Smith. Uh, if you'd normally listen, then uh, my apologies. If this is your first time listening, my apologies in advance. Uh, sitting in the studio with me is is Dan the Super Diesel. Oh yes, thank yes. you, Don. <laughs> How have you been, man? I've been great. It's good to be back on this show. Life's been wonderful for me. Well, that's good. That's good. Quit bragging. Uh, right. Also, back- <laughs> nobody likes a bragger. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Also, back in the studio is uh, my my co-host for the day. My my guest co-host for the day is uh, he didn't even know that coming in. I just forced that on him right now. Yes, uh, Scotty Mays. What is happening? It's about yeah. to get weird. It's about here. to get weird. <laughs> like Scotty really Mays back in the studio and back in comedy. Back in you, comedy. You, you, you went away for a while. I did. I did. And we missed you. Yeah. I cried into my pillow nightly. I cried every day into my pillow. I actually took my pillow with me and cried into so, yeah. it. Well, that's so. part of your routine now, isn't it? Oh, you know, that's yeah. part of your set yeah. is to actually get up there and cry into your pillow. Uh, you know, the slogan is uh, laugh now, cry later, but I like to switch it up a little bit. Right, right. So. Just cry all the time and laugh yeah. at it. Yeah, I mean, look I just, at my look at this hair. I with mean, I, mine, it's point and laugh. Yeah, I, I saw that. Like I said, you look you look lovely. <laughs> this is my uh, yeah. Odell Beckham Jr. starter kit. For it's those all of you, blonde now it's it, all blonde. Yeah, I just so, yeah. Uh, just redid it over the weekend. Yeah, that's that's lovely, and it uh, really is because yeah. it, it used to be like right up in the mud. Well, once I hit the you... stage, uh, I have some big things coming up, and uh, I will be bringing the hawk back. Yeah, you'll you'll so, be bringing the rooster back. Y- yes, sir. That is oh, awesome. That's awesome. Are you going to let it grow out so it gets real tall? Oh yeah, like the old '80s punk bands. That's that's what you yeah. need. Well, I'm going to go straight. Yeah, you rancid. need the full spike rooster do yeah you know, that's what maybe a dead kennedy's look i don't know <laughs> yeah dead dead kennedy's i don't remember them looking like that yeah, well i mean <laughs> they were a little blue in the face yeah, but those yeah, are those are the wrong kennedy's yeah well the one you know half his head was <laughs> <laughs> it's true well, hey, welcome, welcome back to the to the studio. Thank it's, you, it's sir. It's good to have you in Thank, here. Thanks for having me on. Here. It's good to have anybody in here. Actually. Yeah, uh, yeah. No I get lonely. I get lonely, Dan. Oh, <laughs> so Dan, we'll we'll start with you and find out what you've been up to. You said your your everything's going great for you. You were bragging, I and was. we stopped you. But uh, <laughs> tell us what what's what is so great about life. <laughs> well, well, that's good about life is that you always learn something new about yourself. I mean, I guess part of my journey is um, just learning what I can do. I know I'm good at radio because I did it for many years, but I wanted to see if I was good at stand-up comedy, which there's still the, the verdict's still out on that because I've only done like seven shows in four years. So <laughs> I'm just yeah, I don't do I don't do it as often as I would like because I work a part-time job. You know, I got. I'm also trying to move, so I got to work on the house I've lived in for all my life. We got to move stuff out of there, and dude, that's just you know that's work. Is uh, oh, yeah. but also I like to ride my mountain bike. You know, life pulls me many directions, and that's my conflict. Like, be careful when it's pulling you many directions on your mountain bike because well, I, I can only I could, steer one way at a time. Well, that's true because I could die yeah. if I yeah. fall into that river. I could drown and die. I don't want that. Yeah, that's tr- <laughs> that's true. I got the station manager looking in. Are you uh, officially banned from WWS? Have you been trust or- <laughs> No, I'm not banned. No, he's being, I think they're being silly. No, they love me. I've been told that they love me here unless they're, um, 
Yeah, he yeah. Well, maybe, maybe Mr. Patriot me. Pack's pointing. I don't know why. I don't know if he, that means he loves the show or maybe it's me then. Maybe yeah. Maybe he's they're pointing, getting ready to maybe, kick me out, and you are actually my replacement. And I didn't even know they. Well, maybe you we're not live. Purpose. Maybe the audio got cut off. No one can hear us because these. Oh no, we're live. Oh, I actually have. We are live. Facebook live at least. Oh okay okay um, okay. Well, I know. Well, we will find out what yeah Patriot Patrick what he wants in a little bit because he was pointing at us like oh, like Hulk Hogan points to his opponents. You're going round, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah. You're going down. Like um, that, that wasn't Hulk Hogan. That was that was, that was Macho yeah. Man. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah I have a mix between like Savage it. and Hogan. Like I tried. Yeah. Like they sound the same. Like I'll do Savage. Oh yeah, I've been thinking, thinking, thinking about Sam to a Slim Jam, Perfect. and then I do Hogan. It's the same. I can't. <laughs> I don't have the um, diversity in my voice acting. So no, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. It was fantastic. I loved it. Didn't we do on one of your shows? We did a. Uh, a, a a voice competition, didn't we? On the on the uh, Ohio's on fire because I some depends on who my guests are. If he was on there, we probably did do a true. It was either truth for dare or a voice competition. Truth, truth or dare on yeah, my show. Dare. Well, yeah, that's, have, that's what that Ohio's on fire got nuts. <laughs> yeah, I was. Yeah, my show is pretty crazy <laughs> when I did do it, but um, well, it depends on who I had. Like I would have politicians. I'd have. It's just like when I had comedians like Don Smith and a bunch of those guys, I would do some like Truth for Dare. And when he had the politicians, he'd just do coke off a of hooker's back. Oh, well, that's yeah. <laughs> Which, uh, but we couldn't tell the FCC. See, they can't see us smoking right, the right. crack off a of hooker's back. So you're, oh, they you just, smoked it? Wow. Off the back. Yeah, off the back. Think, you know, that that yes. would burn. I yeah, would burn. right. <laughs> well, I guess happy. if you pay them enough, you, you can burn them with cigarettes. Well, like, don't keep the flame on there. You're <laughs> cooking the rock. You know? yeah. Oh, I wow. Am, however, I am dealing with a conflict. His life is great, but right now I'm the pre- I'm the co-president of the Comic Book League. Which is, in the co-president. Of, I'm the, at the end of the semester, I'm passing my torch to uh, a member who will become the full-time president. So my Pence. time okay. with this. Pence, isn't it? Yes. Um, yeah. no, yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, but. He's resigned. Pence is taking <laughs> I don't away. even know what that dude's doing. No, I don't know. No, it's Bernie. No, I'm just Bernie, kidding. Yeah. Um, anywho. Free, I know, comic but my, book, free comic books for everybody, I guess. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> gladly... <laughs> If it was uh, Trump, none of none of the comic w- books would be in Spanish. So. <laughs> oh, boo! Boy. <laughs> Some of the best comic books are in Spanish and Japanese. Well, yeah, we, that's we why, that's that why you want to be careful what president you I pick pass for the league. Yeah, but I am gonna... gladly passing the torch to a new person at the end of the semester. So at the moment, I'm co-president while she's serving as co-president while I teach her the ropes. I'm dealing with a conflict because I've called myself Super Diesel based on my work in comic books. I don't know if I should call myself that anymore. So I just want to know what you guys think, because I've had, um, should I retire to Super Diesel moniker? What do you guys, because, um. No, you got to keep No, that. you got to keep the I SD, mean, man. Yeah, so you, that is unique, because I was one, I was one feedback, because in the past I've been Big Diesel, and then I was just Diesel. <laughs> then I became Super Diesel once I started getting more involved in comic books. Yeah, just go with the Big D. That's big, well, Big D. <laughs> you can't I've been called, with, I was a little you kid. You can't go I, wrong with the Big, the big D. D. Big D. Big D. Whoo. There is a that's big, your tender name, isn't it? Yeah. It, may, it could be. Yeah. The yeah, is swipe that, right on the big D. <laughs> I don't know if I can copyright that though, because I look, years ago I looked up a lot of the nicknames I've used, and Gene Simmons has all of them. He has he? them all, yep. and I first, knew it. I can't be Diesel because yeah. that's owned by World Wrestling Entertainment for obvious reasons. And then Big D is actually a name used in various forms, like that, the team Dallas Cowboys have that trademark for sports purposes and then there's a radio guy named big d it was big d and i it wasn't i don't know if you remember it was a radio show out in florida big d and some other guy but yeah that's a radio name already so i think super diesel's not been taken that's the thing that appeals to me i can actually yeah. trademark that and make millions there you go yeah so, you gotta stick with super D. You, once you brand yourself you, you just gotta stick with that daniel hood the super diesel yeah. or super d De- well i'm gonna work on that because i need to start making money <laughs> on my entertainment ventures yeah now do you have a fan page on facebook because that's where you got to start you got to start with the super diesel fan page the only thing i have is the Hiles on fire that's really the only thing i have that's which that, but that's, that's rooted been, to uh, me that went off what two years ago? Yeah, it went through retirement two years ago, or, or on hiatus, as they say. On hiatus, so the so fire so is out. Bring, yeah, the fire went out. <laughs> it, for now, 
I I don't think it's <coughs> completely dead, but that's the pilot still uh, lit. Yeah, I've it's just the, waiting to be. Because uh, I've had people talk to me about bringing back Ohio. Well, we're we're on fanning fire. the flames today. You're we're, fanning it. It's, it's you're, just down to a glowing ember, and we're yes. right now we're trying to we're trying to fan the flames a little bit. Why? Ohio, well, we're trying to light Ohio back on fire. <laughs> well, that's that's a good way of putting it. Now, I remember when Lake Erie was on fire. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, not good for the environment. <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> uh, poor Shamu. Yeah. <laughs> Is that, where, is that where Shamu is? Yes, Lake, Lake Erie. Erie. They don't know. I know where Shamu is. It's I would Lake think Erie. even without the fire, you wouldn't want an orca swimming around in Lake Erie. Are you a conspiracy theorist? Uh, maybe. I am. I, yeah, I just, um, because people always say See, that's Shamu. really what Ohio's on fire like, there's is about. More, is there's a fire going, and you don't even know. They're keeping it from you. Well, there might be more than one more, I, I said it wrong. There might be more than one Shamu. Like, with Bigfoot, they talk about Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Like Wouldn't there's only one of them. Yeah. There's like hundreds of Bigfoots in the yeah, world. Yeah, they see them all over the place. And Joe Robinette says to... they still have not found any big feet. So, right. You right. know. Yes. Yeah. So big I feet. think yeah, the big mean, foots or big feet. I wear a fourteen, but I don't think that counts yeah. as. Well, I wear a thirteen. Uh, four X. So you know. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. Schnikes. Yeah. I almost cussed on your live that radio. Been, well, Schnikes is bad enough. I think we can <laughs> we can get a fine for Schnikes. Uh, you can say Schnikes. <laughs> oh, you I, can. Okay. Yeah. I, if, I, if you can say Schnikes, um, I think it's okay because Super Diesel approved. Yep, yes, yep. <laughs> Diesel approved. Your I've done my Schnikes have been, have been Big okay D approved. By, by, now by the, the Big D. <laughs> now, Don. Once you get this show on um, SiriusXM, then we don't have to say Schnikes anymore. We can oh, say okay, other okay. fruitful okay. language. Like yeah, I, don't, uh, I, I would, don't really know uh, how much further this show can go. This might be the last it, one, it's actually. Might, it's, it's very, very possible. At this point, we'll be lucky to make yeah. it to two because our dependent on technology is just... That's true. Yeah. That's true. I, and I, I'm really hoping with that we can actually get the show recorded so I can have a podcast this week. Mm. Oh. Otherwise, you know, we're just totally screwed. Yeah. Well, <sighs> hugs for everybody. Yeah, problems, man. Just everybody's got problems. Except Dan, life's going good. Yeah, yeah. life's Man, going how good you doing for the that? super diesel. That's how yeah. you doing that. Yeah. Well, how how do I do it? I mean, <laughs> how is your life so manageable? The good clean living is that's what it is. Is well, it? clean. I am a clean guy, so I don't do drugs or alcohol. So that's one good thing. Ever? Get, no. Have yeah. you ever? I've never done. Well, I've I've drunk in beer socially, but not. I've never gotten drunk, and I've never done drug hard drugs. I prefer never my beer antisocial. Oh, okay. Mm. So so yeah, like um, my wife had champagne like at, at weddings. To that. Yeah. Um, but I don't get, I've never gotten drunk cause I have people in my life who abuse that stuff and that kind of scared me off from like that yeah. lifestyle. So no, I've never done, I've never smoked cigarettes. I, I do, I am a, they call it straight edge. I'm a straight edge guy. Straight edge super diesel. Well, that's, that's, that's the Thank super you, diesel. Yeah. yeah. Straight edge super diesel. I can add yeah. to my nickname. There you Thanks go. Right, that, we're we're going to add several things man, uh, before the end of the day. I used well, to get in fights with straight edge at punk shows yeah. all the time. <laughs> so, yeah. God help us all. He's yeah, gonna help somebody. Yes, yeah, Scotty's. Uh, how long in in uh, recovery now? Um, I'm I'm approaching the 13th. Will be 22 months. Awesome. Good. Yeah, hey, that, that's willing. awesome. So, yeah. Congratulations. Thank Scotty. you. You, you yeah. are you are an inspiration. I'm well. And I, didn't you didn't you win the uh, the funniest person in, in Southeast Kettering contest? It, yeah. Were you the winner of that? I, I that, was, that was the winner of that too. Because uh, that was like your comeback into the comedy. That, scene. that was my first show. Yeah. Yes, that is awesome. Um, somebody said it was the equivalent of being the best Denny's waitress. Well, yeah, but still, it's the best at something. <laughs> well, yeah, imagine, imagine second place, right. the second funniest mm. person in South. If you ain't Kettering. first or last, that's got to hurt, Rick Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least last could mean you didn't even go. Well, the fact that Gary Henry didn't go and you still got votes, <laughs> was, uh, <laughs> it still hurt my self esteem a little bit. Like, uh, uh, I can't stand the Scotty Mays guy. Who's on this? Like yeah. Gary Henry, oh, he's not here. That's okay. Yeah, we'll vote for him because uh, he, he's he a lovable got guy. Votes. What did he get? Number three? Did he get third place? Yeah, not even be yeah. there. Yeah. He'll actually be with me December twelfth when I headline that show. Oh, at at, at yeah. Uh, Cats. Yeah, his 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 truck had broke down that day at work, and he just got he kind of got a raw deal in that situation. So I was like, hey man. So he got sympathy votes. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. That ain't even right. Yeah, but yeah. he's such a lovable guy. <laughs> yeah, How could you not. That's true. That's true. Big cuddly Gary. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He, he is. is. Yeah. I, I mean, I've you know cried on that shoulder a few yeah. times oh yeah. i just you know that i just wish he'd shave a little more it's like the my pillow but better yeah the yeah. human your, your gary henry pillow 
<laughs> the GHP. <laughs> the GHP. That's, that's what the world needs. <laughs> Super right. D and GHP. <laughs> yep, there are you we know. about to get more weird? We are about. Well, what I'm going to do? You're taking a commercial I don't know what break. The heck I'm going to do. Yeah, we got to take a commercial break. Play some of that Potter's Field, man. That's some good stuff. That, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play some. Uh, I'm going to play a little Potter's Field. And hey, wow! See, see, they they changed this around. The new setup actually brings up the album cover of Potter's Fields of Brutal Presence, which you can find on Amazon. You can actually download the whole thing. It's five songs. It's an EP. Fantastic songs. It's got the song of Brutal Presence, which is the title title the album so, album title. Uh Hindsight Hell, Fell from Grace, Devour the Crow, and a Peaceful Man. Great songs. Uh if you like heavy metal, you owe it to yourself mm-hmm. to go to Amazon, look up <laughs> Potter's Field, a Brutal Presence, and uh, yeah. and get some get some fine water, heavy metal. Because I just choked. And on get air. some water, Scotty. I just choked not, not only <laughs> on air, but literally on the air. I choked. What is in here? Is this EPA approved like stage. asbestos floating around here? Yeah, is... yeah absolutely. We well, mm. we have to the, actually they brought in extra asbestos. The stuff yeah. they removed the from bestest. other parts of the building, <laughs> we got the best asbestos in here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and hit the comedy rundown here and uh, then we're gonna take we're gonna take a break, play some Potter's Field, and be back shortly after that. But here's the comedy rundown for the week. Brought to you by the legendary Wiley's Comedy Club at 101 Pine Street in downtown Dayton's historic Oregon district. Call 224-JOKE. Check out uh, wileyscomedy.com for details and tickets to upcoming shows. Thursday through Sunday, November 9th through the 12th. This is kind of weird because it's brought to you by Wiley's. And the first one is Guy Tory. He's going to be at the Dayton Funny Bone at 88 Plum Street at the Green. <laughs> uh, Friday, November 10th. Uh, hashtag Funny Fridays at 2931 East 3rd Street in Dayton. That show starts at 9 p.m. with host Lucky Johnson. Because everybody loves the Lucky Johnson. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the Big D. The, the big, big D and the D Lucky, and the Lucky Johnson J. need to team up for a show. Yes, right? we are. Uh, I got to find this guy. <laughs> Uh, Friday and Saturday, November 10th and 11th, the Super Dope Comedy Festival is going to be at the legendary Wiley's Comedy Club of 101 Pine Street in Dayton's Oregon District. You can go to uh, Wiley'sComedy.com, see what you can do on there. I believe if you buy tickets online, it's $5 a piece. At the door is going to be 10 uh, Saturday, November 11th, I Wish I Was Laughing Comedy. Open mic at the Old Brick Tavern at 2475 Mechan- Mechanicsburg Road. You're on that one? I am on that one. All right. That show starts at 9 p.m. I believe Ray Jackson's headline. Yes. That and if you oh, haven't, that dude if is If you funny. haven't seen Ray Jackson, you've got to get, because that guy is brilliant. You will yeah. be your Brilliant pants. and professional. He yeah, and a little absolutely. Bit. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Sunday, November 12th, first of all, uh, 5 p.m. at Wiley's is the Comics Hang at Wiley's Comedy Club. If you're working on some material, you want to get out there and run it by some other comics and be made fun of come on out bring your plungers That's, bring, yeah, bring your <laughs> i gotta talk to you about that a little bit mm-hmm. uh wiley sunday comics is back sunday at wiley's comedy club that show starts at 8 p.m this one is going to be headlined by chris simer next week next week scotty mays is going to be closing that show out what yeah oh. that is it as always check Excellent. out wiley's comedy.com datingfunnybone.com for details and tickets to upcoming shows also, be sure to check out Unwritten Podcasts from Dayton Writers Move and available at unwrittenpodcast.com. And one other thing, if you haven't yet, you got to check out TBTV. It's airing on DATV, but it's also online. You can go to uh, YouTube right now. Well, during the break or after the show. Don't do it right now because it's a 38-minute long uh, sketch comedy show uh, with Tyler Wise and Brandon Barry. Absolutely fantastic. Well, uh, if you go to YouTube, you can just search TBTV uh, episode 101. TBTV sounds like it's an instruction video tutorial on tuberculosis. Yes, it is. It is. No, <laughs> yes. no, it's it's it is very instructional. Uh, and uh, yes. keep an eye out for homeless Jerry because he's a fantastic guy. I know him personally. Lucky Johnson, and, yeah, uh, yep. Super Diesel, and homeless, homeless Jerry. Jerry. Hi, oh. it's homeless Jerry. <laughs> All right, uh, <laughs> we're gonna take a little break. Uh, play some Potter's Field. This is Hindsight Hell, and we'll be back here shortly. <laughs> What's up in Wiley's? Hey guys, it's Mike, and it's time to let everyone know what's up at Wiley's this week, brought to you by Wiley's Comedy Club here in Dayton, Ohio. This weekend at Wiley's, it's the Super Dope Comedy Festival, hosted by Dan Seabury. This will be going on Friday and Saturday at Wiley's, and it's going to feature some great comedic talent from the Miami Valley, such as Joe Young, John Morris, Dusty Harvey, Chris Seimer, Dwight Simmons, and a whole bunch more. And your headliners for all the shows will be Brooke Cardis and Renan Hirschberg. 
Tickets are only $5 at Wileyscomedy.com and $10 at the door. This show goes on Friday at 8 p.m., Saturday at 7.15, and Saturday at 9.30. For more information, go to Wileyscomedy.com. And Sunday, just like every week, it's the Wiley Sunday Comic Show. This is the very best in local talent from right here in Dayton, Ohio. The show goes on at 8 p.m. on Sunday, and tickets are only $5. That's what's going on this week. For more information, go to www.wileyscomedy.com. Mondays at 9 a.m. on the Eventide Entertainment Podcast feed. <laughs> what were you saying? Triangle. <laughs> this microphone. All right. <laughs> All right. Wait, yeah, we're back. We're okay. back on the air, Dan. No, more, right. no more talk of triangle penis. Oh God. No. <laughs> Got him, yeah, you yeah. dirty, you dirty man! <laughs> All oh. right, we are we are back on the air. This, as if you couldn't tell, this is the live radio show. Anybody oh. who's listened before, as soon as you heard that coming back in, you're going to know. All five of them. Yep, here you go. Yep, all five, six. We got six. Nice. Uh, oh. Five. New, rec- uh, new record. Uh, we're there. <laughs> they just <laughs> we they, everybody shut their radios off simultaneously. <laughs> they heard triangle penis, and I'm yeah. like, oh, yeah. okay, this is what yep, I thought. I'm it not was. listening to that again this week. <laughs> <laughs> come up with something new. <laughs> you never know what's going to come out on this show. <laughs> Literally. Uh, anyway, we're back. Uh, Super Diesel Dan Super Diesel Hood is in yes. the in the in the station with me, along with uh, my guest co-host for the week, Scotty Mays. Hello, hello. hello. So, uh, where like where were we? Voice. What what? Huh? Oh, oh okay. You just you just. just there's somebody out there right now that's schizophrenic and they're doing whatever you just said because they're the only ones that heard you and they aren't even listening to the radio <laughs> anyway yeah we're back and I, I keep playing with my news stories are we ready for news yet or is there something like is there something can I, can I plug a show going? plug away that's yeah that's that's kind of kind of what we do so next wednesday um down in cincinnati at club vip lounge uh, oh, Cincinnati show! We can't plug. Oh yeah, because it's Dayton. Yep, not the. But not we're doing the, a the, we're doing a dirty, comedy benefit. Not the dirty C down. <laughs> it's called uh, the dirty. C. <laughs> the dirty D and the yeah. dirty C collide, and it's just fentanyl yeah. all cloud yeah. everywhere, yeah, and then everybody's terrible. asleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, camp go, for go everybody. Ahead, go ahead. VSB. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. So it's uh, laugh for a purpose comedy benefit. It's uh, the the proceeds are going to go towards uh, mental health. Um, really looking forward to that because towards yours or somebody else's. Well, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Who's mental health? Because I, I, I might well, if be you're a comedian, I think we're all a little mental to an, to a, an extent. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know if that's the. I yeah, don't do PC, so if this isn't politically correct for you, then I'm. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not a PC person. I still, well, I don't, I don't I still really. Say, I don't uh, know where really where you fit on this show. Then because well, we are definitely a politically <laughs> correct show. Yeah. In every sense of the word. Well, I didn't so. know triangle penis was the yeah. PC term. Yeah. So. Well, yeah. You saw the signs down there. Though. <laughs> <laughs> so you're making Dan uncomfortable. It, yeah. yeah. Dude, he's, not, he's, okay? not he's, over this, there he's not used to this much I'm political like, correctness. I'm listening so he's getting ready to bounce. <laughs> now I'm listening to Scotty talk about these amazing triangle penises. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm truly infatuated with I was going to say nothing, but Don and Scotty have to be the dirty ones on well, here. Well, it's the best thing since the Egyptian pyramid. Discovery, so <laughs> yeah it uses the power of the pyramids to sharpen the wit and the 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 tip <laughs> just, the tip. Yeah, just the tip oh anyway yeah as uh is that the is that the only show you got coming up just that one and then and then uh closing out wiley's wiley sunday comics next week um no i have some which, um which wiley sunday comics if you haven't been out to a good comedy oh show God. in a while Wiley Sunday Comics is uh, it, it's the locals, it's the locals and the newer guys, and there 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 are so many so many fantastic reasons. Well, and to here's get out the thing: there are some of the most underrated comedians, absolutely, that you will get to see for what you pay for five oh, bucks for five bucks. Yeah, and besides that, if you go out to one of these expensive shows and you're watching one or two comics, if they're not any good, if they're having an off night, you have to listen to them the whole time. Yeah, that's it. 
with the Sunday comics, there's 14 comics going up. Oh, usually. Yeah. If you don't like this one, a couple minutes, he's going to be yeah. done, and you you can hate the next guy, too. So if so. all 13 of them <laughs> suck, you better hope the 14th one's good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I've yet to see that, though. No, it's usually, usually we get a lot of, a lot of good comics, and every now and then there's one that just... It doesn't really. There's one that there's a newer guy's first time up there. Sure, you know, we've so all been there. Every though. now and then they they fall flat. They ignore the light. They get chased out, and then they get mad. And, I've yet to ignore the light. That's yeah, you like, don't want to uh, ignore. That's... To me, when I first started out, I was waiting for the light because I wanted to get the hell. <laughs> <laughs> I was done. I was like, okay, okay, okay. There it is. Good. Bye. No, <laughs> no I, I finished. I finished my set and moved on. But, you know. Sure. Yeah. It's yeah, th- yeah. It's never, fun. never ignore the light. Obey the light. That's that's the biggest rule. And if you're dying, go towards it. Right, right, right. You don't want to ignore the light then. No, definitely just not. Keep it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, on that happy note, mm-hmm. uh, let's, <laughs> yeah. uh, let's say uh, some of these news stories are, are recycled because uh, basically I, I don't get through all of them every time. <laughs> so sometimes, sometimes here, here's. Sometimes we have we have uh, older news stories that kind of I've I've been recycling kind of like stock in a grocery store so it, you know mm-hmm. you have to put the older stuff up front. A museum exhibit in Washington D.C. features a video of a shark attack that's so realistic it left at least one visitor on his butt on the floor. Uh, Gregory Heinzman couldn't miss the warning on the set of on the on the set of screens at the International Spy Museum. There's an International Spy Museum and it features a shark tank. Hmm. So this this is like. <laughs> This is like a, a 007. This is a James Bond type of spy museum. Oh. Anyway, uh, the the sign says, touch at your own risk. They were showing an <laughs> image of what appeared to be the inside of a shark tank with a great white swimming by. Heinzman first timidly touched the glass, then began insist, insistently tapping on it. Before the image of the great white came right at him, jaws gaping, and appeared to crack the glass. Heinzman flew backwards and landed with a thud on the floor. It was all caught on video, which was sent, which went viral on YouTube. <laughs> I've seen that video. And have Daniel, you? did you know this? I actually have a tattoo below my belly button that says, Touch at your own risk. Oh, and, uh, okay. It's funny he said that. And, and it's it a this, triangle. It's a triangle penis. <laughs> no. Yeah. I, I should have known. I kind of figured. Yeah. 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 But, um, You're probably going to take a shower after you leave here. Like, I feel so to. dirty right now. But I have a question for this the, the shark that um, cracked the glass. Does he have. I know some of these people have insurances, but do sharks have insurance? Cause, uh, well, this was just a video of a shark i know but this, yeah it just it but was i'm thinking realistic. we got there are a lot of stupid idiots in the world like to mess with these sharks i'm wondering what if someone ever hurts the shark like they kick it in the teeth and it loses a tooth like a can, tooth? can the oh, shark, they, they have like hundreds can, of them can the shark go to um a dentist and get its teeth fixed can it just swim in there like hey doctor dentist guy i want my teeth fixed because i'm an idiot at sea world kicked my face in i think it, I it, would, like, it would have to be some other uh sea related aqua dentist nope. you know because i mean if the of course a shark can't breathe you know and out of the water so if he came up to the dentist here you'd have a dead shark and the whole office would stink it would but listen peta has got to get on this because sharks have feelings too damn it so there you're you go. not allowed to say Peta on the air i don't think oh <laughs> i can say damn it but i can say <laughs> i can say aqua penis no, i can't say Pe- i can't we say went to aqua now you, no, all right <laughs> you, can't, you, you can't use the term for people who eat tasty animals right right oh, right. oh man well shame on me i, mean, I just have <laughs> myself for hey don did you and john moore start the same same day and uh comedy sort of yeah, yeah. we we because my first now i i had uh i had been doing some stuff here at wright state and then through them, we did a show over at Funny Bone, but I don't count that. My first outside of the university-related comedy show was the same night John Morris went up Very cool. for the first time. So, Very yeah, cool. pretty much. Really love that dude, too. He's a good guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he doesn't like me, though. He's, he posted that on the, on Facebook. No, I'm kidding. Oh, he loves you. Yeah. And he said we should get the shark on the next show. Oh, that's that would be great. And Jabberjaws. Sure, well, we Jabberjaws. Have to, we have to make sure it has insurance because some you know yes. we get it on the show, it might hit the mic and lose a tooth. Yes. Mm. So we have to yeah we have to make I sure about that. Yeah, we have to make sure have or have an aqua dentist standing by. Or we need to get a security guard for that shark. That way, if the audience throws a beer bottle, the audience the didn't security. I think Don Smith. You well, need any, security any on that time, night. Anytime I'm going to have a shark in the studio, I'm going to make sure that there's chicken wire up. Okay, I, I call it shark wire. Yes, that, good, you know, a great idea. Because I yes. know people are going to throw things. Mm. Yeah, sharks aren't very popular. 
That's it's kind of really, yeah, no. that's kind of a lot of discrimination against sharks. Oh, uh, whatever. Yeah, I don't care. Nah, great whitey. <laughs> 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 anyway, a. I think I read this one already like a couple weeks ago, but I'm going to do it again because I don't think it's sold yet. A 10-acre desert ranch is up for grabs in Arizona with a unique property listed as featuring an in-ground swimming pool, a hay barn, and a constant stream of extraterrestrials that travel through a backyard portal. <laughs> so, that's that's on the listing. The Stardust Ranch in Rainbow Valley, which was featured on the Travel Channel program Ghost Adventures in 2016, is on the market for a cool $5 million. After its current owner said he was ti- growing tired of fighting off aliens' malevolent attacks and abductions. Uh, he said, almost immediately from the day we moved in, we began to have strange experiences, said owner John Edwards. Edmonds, sorry. Oh, John, John Edwards. Edwards. No. I'd believe that more. <laughs> right. <laughs> Over the past 20 years, Edmonds claims to have been abducted and had medical experiments performed on him by aliens and even had to slay a few in samurai sword fights because everybody knows sam- uh, uh, aliens attack with samurai swords. <laughs> that is their preferred method. Sure. I don't know if you know that or not, Scotty. No, that is, I, I learned, learned something today. That's amazing. Well, like you said, you got to learn new things every day. Yes. And if you, if you ever go up against an alien, you better have a samurai sword. That's so now John I mean, is like a he's probably the, the best uh, LARP person that you ever met like right. live action right. role playing fighting, like, like I'm a level forty two alien, alien yeah. fighter yeah. Yeah. I have an idea for the new owners of this ten anchor anchor ranch um, but they need to use, use these ex- extraterrestrial people that are having these fights they need to use that to their advantage they need to start a wrestling promotion where they can charge tickets to a paying audience. And have um, these aliens wrestle each other in the ring. They set up a wrestling ring. That's brilliant. WWET. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <I love> <laughs> oh. We've got it. Yeah, nice. we need to go in and buy this place. It's only $5 million. Yeah, and it's got a portal. <laughs> and it's got a portal. It's <laughs> and, got a backyard. And, <laughs> I wonder if it works both ways. Can you go up and conduct experiments on the aliens? Maybe it's like in Stranger Things. It's just the upside down. It's a parallel universe. See, I haven't watched all that yet. I did start watching. It's kind of yeah. interesting, but I haven't watched all that yet. So, no spoilers, Scotty. Okay. <laughs> yes. <I'll> stop. <laughs> we can get mankind to be the special guest referee for this match. It would actually make sense for once. Yeah. Because yeah. that would one be step a good for man, One step for mankind and one st- larger step for aliens wrestling in a wrestling ring. Yep. That, yes, that, that can sell. Yeah, I, so I, I, I want to see that. WWET. That's a thing now. What would be your music to come out to you on... And, on stage. Oh, on my theme music? Yeah. Because yeah. well, Super know, Diesel's got to go up against the aliens. Well, I'd yeah. probably use the Ohio's on Fire theme song from of Mice of Men. That was my theme when I did my radio shows. So that'd be my wrestling theme, obviously. obviously I'd come out. Yeah. I'd be on the stage. It'd be There's got to be pyro, of course. So it'd be pyro. would be shooting from all sides of the stage, frontwards, backwards, and sideways. I'd be surrounded by this pyro. It probably set me on fire too because it burnt pyro burns. Well, so that's, be, well now, roll, now we know why Ohio's on fire, and you're going to do the same thing to, to Arizona. I would have to stop because dr- it's dry. Yes, yeah, I'd have to stop, drop, and roll in the middle of the stage. Okay, okay, we'll get to him. All right, like a yeah. trash can man in the stand. Have you seen that? I haven't seen that one. I don't, I'm not familiar. I'm trash- old. Oh, old. Okay. That's okay. I don't know yeah. what you're talking about either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm get that a lot. Too, Scotty. I get that We're a lot. We're getting a lot of threats today by the staff of WS. Yeah, Sheikha Stephanie was just in here. She was pointing at us as well, saying, What's going on? Is in the on air yeah, yeah. sign on? What's that? Out there? The on air sign? Oh, Is that, that on? That's irrelevant. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> this isn't a real radio show. Yeah, yeah just walk right in. That's <laughs> yeah. okay. It's okay. It's not like it's important or anything. No. Nah. <laughs> yeah. She did not see Super Diesel sitting here. That's right. That's right. No, I think she, she yeah. was pointing right at me. I think she's afraid that I'm going to go off like Hulk Patrick Hogan. makes me nervous. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Hulk Hogan. Well, and, because every time Patrick shows up, something breaks. Yeah. Uh-oh, and he's probably here to tell me that, that he broke their station again. <laughs> Patrick broke the station again. All right. <laughs> Further news. All right. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 That's so many distractions today. <laughs> All right. <laughs> A man in Chicago paid a hefty price when he tried to rob a hot dog stand. He accidentally <laughs> shot himself in the penis during his getaway. <laughs> oh, that's no. not kosher. Yeah, yeah, that, I don't believe it is. That is, uh, I bet it did plump when he cooked it, though. Uh, Terry and Pouncy, that, named like Pouncy. <sighs> if somebody named Pouncy shoots himself in the penis, you, it's almost expected. 
You know, is uh, it, if, if <laughs> uh, Terry and Pouncey, 19, held two employees of Maxwell Street Express at gunpoint early Monday morning, demanding that they hand over their wallets and the restaurant's cash. At the time of the robbery, one of the victims reportedly had been carrying a large bucket of grease. With the gun pointed at his head, the employee was trying to hand over a stack of $1 bills, but the bucket slipped and the money flew out of his hands. Pouncey grabbed the fallen money and started to run while trying to secure the gun in his waist. But as he fled, the gun accidentally went off and shot him in the penis. Oh, boy. The thief didn't make it very far before the pain of his injuries took over and he collapsed in front of a house nearby. Well, I what to, if you yeah. owned that house? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how many times have you, are you going to have to deal with a man with uh, a self-inflicted penis gunshot wound collapsing in front of your home? That's why I shoot blanks. <laughs> what I want to know is... Um, that means, I bet he does, too, now. <laughs> self well, vasectomy kit. I just want to know that when that man shot himself by accident, did that wiener fall off and that, that wiener landed in the kitchen? Could that now be used as a hot dog to be sold at stores? The, like I'm, the man's shot off. I'm uh, curious the, the, why you want to first name. Can I be for set? P O N C B Y. Yeah, the man my, shot my off. Wiener. Has a, <laughs> that man shot off. Wiener can now be sold uh-huh. at that hot dog, hot dog store. Yeah, yep. Os- Oscar Meyer. Oh, Nate. No, no, no. Pouncy. Pouncy. Uh, well, Tyrion Pouncy. Yeah. Tyrion or Pouncy. Lack thereof. Yeah. Yeah. He's <laughs> inch high, private eye. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Now they just call him Floppy. That's what he calls him. Oh, man. <laughs> Floppy. Yep. From Pouncy to Floppy. Mm. Is that, I, they, I hope it was a small caliber. Actually, if it was a larger caliber, then that just makes sure that this isn't going to happen again. Because uh, yeah, hopefully he has a... Now he has hope, a Caitlyn yeah. Jenner starter kit. Yep, there you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, that that would uh, that would tell you you're in the wrong line of work if you can't holster your if you can't holster your firearm without shooting yourself in the penis. Yeah, keep it you in your pants. To, yeah, keep it. Yeah. <laughs> well, he had he, he couldn't keep it in his pants. He had to point it at the you know to right. get that stack of dollars. He had the premature. Uh, yes, he, he, he got all those one dollar bills from that poor hot dog stand, and now he can't even go to the strip club and enjoy them. Right. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. They don't take it's one. A new name for a dry anymore. rub. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, old pouncy penis stories. That's what we do here on the life. Hashtag yeah. trending. Uh, when Osama bin Laden, right, right, oh, right. <laughs> from pouncy penis shooters to Osama bin Laden. <laughs> when Osama bin Laden wasn't planning terrorist attacks such as 9 11, he was apparently watching YouTube videos like Charlie Bit My Finger. <laughs> Uh, and that shocks Howard Davies Carr, who filmed his son Charlie biting his fi- the finger of his brother Harry in a now legendary 2017 viral video. I don't, it's apparently legendary, and I. Oh, it's been around forever, it. yeah. In yeah. 2007 is when it, so it's been around for 10 years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And apparently, Bin Laden was a fan. And okay. apparently, this is news. It was apparently a slow news day. Do you think when he was like getting a plan together, like people were talking, he's like, Linda, listen, listen, Linda. Have you seen that one? I have not. Yeah, me <laughs> either. You need to get on YouTube See, more, man. I, I do. I Stay well, off the porn. Well, when I'm, when I'm on, on YouTube. YouTube, I'm watching things like TBTV. Oh, nice. Yes. Yes. Which I'm, I'm not, headed I'm there as this. soon as we... Um, kids in the lobby. Yeah. I know. What is, There's kids. Are they mine? Yep. What, yeah, is, what is going on here? Dad said be quiet. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> they're no longer pointing. They're now, kicking, they're now kicking the door open. It's not enough for them to point at yeah. us. Now they're... Yeah, sh- now they're now they're throwing things at the window. They're ready to get like those trap telling houses. You, I used to do it's my like drug we have thing. a shark in here or something, and people are throwing stuff at the window again. Mm. Yeah, it's about yeah. the MMA <laughs> fight night between yeah, us I'm, and the staff. We're gonna we're gonna <laughs> unleash super diesel on them in a minute. Oh yeah, you do, do not want the we, super diesel no, flying around in the, here. You do not want the big. He will put your eye out. It's gonna be the it's gonna be the cast of the Don Smith's The Life versus WSU's radio staff in an MMA fight. They um yeah they're I'm just. Yeah, they're yeah. It's it's just weird. They're just making. I know they're probably work. They're doing something important, probably. Yeah, but, yeah. But maybe not. We don't. We don't know what's swords and the penis shooters. We don't we'll know what's going on though. I mean, we can't read their minds. So oh, well, I can. it's a small. Oh, Don, Scotty can. Scotty I've got parental yeah, instinct. He, he has you know. ESPN. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and and then Spaniel. <laughs> Anyway, uh, turns out that Charlie Bit My Finger video was one of the uh, many videos the Navy SEALs found on uh, Bin Laden's collection as they when they stormed his compound in, in uh, Pakistan, according to CIA, because that's important to release to the public, is yeah. what YouTube videos was Bin Laden hooked on. That explains it. 
Yeah. Well, that's a good strategy to bite someone's finger. Like, if his soldiers got out of line, he can um, kidnap, he can that, put them in a room. That could have been, it was a training And video. then um, bite, bite the little finger. Listen, if you don't kill the Americans, you're going to bite, bite your pinky off. Yeah. You better do as I say, buddy. Then it'd be like the... Uh, yeah, it's a torture the method. Yeah. Which I would mm-hmm. think, if, if, if this was the 60s, it was Vietnam, Charlie bit my finger, that's a whole different thing there. Yeah. Because Charlie, Charlie Company yeah, Charlie would be the, yeah. like... <laughs> There'd be a lot of missing fingers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would that would be bad. We got time for one more, and this is uh, this is this one's fun. Uh, some contestants in a Brazilian beauty pageant dedicated to finding the nation's best behind are protesting sexual harassment, uh, which is good enough by itself. And they're doing it with a photo op straight out of Lady Lady Gaga's handbook, which you don't want anything out of Lady Gaga's <laughs> handbook. Uh, the infamous Miss Bum Bum Brazil pageant uh, takes place uh, t- took place monday evening in sao paulo uh as part of the hype five of the women uh whose keisters were competing decided because they weren't just just their keys just the keys just their keys no. uh decided to pose in beef keenies okay. reminiscent of the all meat dress uh, gaga award 2010 uh, mtv video music awards yeah. the photos are being used for the official invites to the posterior pageant uh, now in its seventh year, and why am I just finding out about this? I don't know, but if there's a tie, do they have a booty clap off? <laughs> they well, should. They should. If they don't, they better now. Well, uh, the women spent pay. eight hours on the shoot and and collect were collectively wearing 110 pounds of beef. Mm. <laughs> Kobe. Yeah, organizers insist the message behind the meaty swimwear is women are not just a piece of meat. I hope the stage is a giant charcoal grill. That's what I hope. So you... you uh, <laughs> uh, why, Hold on, why, I'm still so trying to you, process this. Hold on a second. So it's processed meat is what you're trying to come up with. <laughs> yes. yes. So, bye, baloney. Uh, <laughs> oh, you got me. Nah, that's just lips and, you know, <laughs> and butts, which is what lips this contest was all yes. about, was finding the best butt. Yes. Which you know that is a that's a great contest because it's important. It, it is. We I only think, cover it. the important things on the life. This is very because uh, life very important. is not a joke. You know th- these are the real stories that need to be talked about. Right, right. Brazilian butts. Nobody cares about Rocket and Man right keenies. now. Yes. Or beef keenies. That's beef, what it beef, beef keenies. keenies. Yes. yes, our children of the world yes. need to know about beef keenies in Brazil and these women exactly. running around. Exactly. They're, they're changing the world. People, come on. Right. Yeah, you can watch them strut their stuff while they get cooked on the giant stage grill <laughs> with five pounds of yeah. meat getting smacked on their face. A hundred, yeah. <laughs> There's 110 you can, pounds well, of meat, so you better step up your game, Scotty. Yeah. I don't think they're going to be impressed with your little five pound. Yeah. <laughs> you can smack it and eat it. It's Somebody wonderful. on here said rump roast. <laughs> rump roast. Nice. Well played. Oh, yeah, well played, there friend. Go. There you go. Yeah. We we have listeners on. That's fantastic. Yeah, actually, that's, how many do you have online? I'm not used to that. I'm uh, not saying because it's embarrassing. <laughs> well, I don't have that many either. So oh, okay. we could combine well, them and well, be we're like, good then. So we, yeah. yeah. Well, it's probably people listening to both. Yeah, it could be. They're on there just to watch you. Maybe. Where do you have that camera pointed? <laughs> yeah, you divide the audience. <laughs> yeah, if they know you're lying Sir. about that five pounds. <laughs> and the size 14 shoe. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if that's Scotty's full of crap. I was in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> There's no pool here. It's a radio oh. station. Gee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got to get down to the Miss Bum Bum Brazil contest. I mean, me too. But, you know, me the too. only problem is Sao Paulo, you might, uh, they might not all be women. Well, this that, is the you know, society like a, we, we yeah. have to learn to accept change. I mean, yeah, if, if it's a nice butt, I'll look at it. I'm good. Sure. I just. I mean, I could. I know, could I'm look pr- at a dude. You know, I could look at Daniel and go, "Man, I bet you you probably do pretty good with yeah, with all I the bet ladies. You, I bet you really clean up in a meat kini. <laughs> <laughs> they call me Super Diesel for a reason. <laughs> yeah. I mean that that bacon belt that you wear yeah, is just yeah, the bacon belt. <laughs> yeah, and, yes. the, and the beef kini. Uh, yes, I want to go to see that competition as well. I just got to bring my fives and bring a fork, and I'm just what, good to go. What we need to do, what we need to do, is we need to bring them up into the states. There needs to be a uh, the the meat kini contest, the beef oh kini contest. He's going we need for. to bring it to the states. Yes, and it need it needs to be up in Wisconsin. So you got the cheese head and the meat kini. You got a burger right there and a yes. triangle penis. And you're trying to see who's got the best buns. Yes. Mm. <laughs> so we get the That's whole cute. thing right there. I'm getting hungry. This it's is like time. a That's food orgy going <laughs> yeah. on right yeah. now, man. <laughs> 
Yes, yes, it is. You Today didn't know what you were stepping porn. into, did you? <laughs> yeah, that, that's a money idea. Yes. It's How hot stuff. do you like your dog? Oh, between the mm. cheeseburger competition in Wisconsin and the in the best buns and uh, the WWE T, I think we're really we're really we're, we're, we're plugging something. Yes, we're that, on yeah. something. That's what it's, <laughs> yes, we're we yeah. on to something. But they're going to be like, damn, did Scotty relapse that, yeah, that's on the radio? At, <laughs> nope, not. We got a lot of trademarking to do after this show. WWE T and um, the hamburger thing. Yes, the the oh, Brazil yeah. the Brazil thing. Yes. Are we doing anything with the triangle penis? You can do whatever you want with a triangle penis when you get back home. <laughs> <laughs> For right now. Yeah, that's your own business. <laughs> I don't know if I uh, like your tone, Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> all right. What do he do with his tongue? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all, all right, right. Uh, yeah, um, I, think, yeah. Uh, I think on that note it's time to take another break yeah. uh, we're going to kick super diesel out even though it's been so much fun well, I got we got some... a next guest coming in what do you got to plug what i do you have got some coming plugging up, to do it how much time do you have if we go to commercial oh i'm in charge here <laughs> take your time well, okay well, <laughs> well anywho but yes but before i get going i do have some plugging to do um first off tomorrow night um if anyone's heard of the tabletop game called Galantune, they are coming to Wright State University. They'll be in Woman Hall 112 from 6 to 8. You can learn how to play Galantune. There's Adam Allen Wick. He is the um, owner. He'll be demonstrating the game. So if you're interested in tabletop gaming, it's one of the best games in the world. So come to it tomorrow night. Um, now, the other thing I'm doing, um, this month is the 10-year anniversary of my show, Ohio is on Fire, when I first got started in 2007. And Fuego. Yes. Yeah. Whatever Scotty said. Fuego. <laughs> I can't do that voice. <laughs> That's weird. Anywho. <laughs> but yes, this Friday night, I am, I have a place together on YouTube for um, all the shows I did here at WSU. was like FM. It's, rendi- it's the carnation of that show because I did do a, a previous rendition of how I was on fire when I first got started. It was an internet show only at a website called now live um that does, but so and that, that was the, just called ohio's rubbing two sticks together yeah <laughs> yeah devolved. that's what i call it <laughs> but this yes but this uh, it's devolving back to brazil, <laughs> back to brazil. <laughs> yeah anyway but this friday night i'm gonna have a playlist available on facebook and any social media website i can think of and i encourage people to binge watch the entire wsu version of ohio's on fire all the episodes I ever did it was like 86 episodes. Man, that's a lot of binge watching right you guys, there. So I can, I will Dude, have you need a this, support group. I will have it up this Friday night and binge watch over the weekend. I ho- Hopefully someone will. I don't know. Yeah, it's a lot of watching to do. Do you purge watch too or just binge watch? Binge watch. I need, I, to, I need to do both. Yeah, I usually yeah. purge when I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> yes, do both for when you watch Ohio's Empire this I need to go purge weekend. now. Can we take a commercial break? <laughs> so there's that. And um, two more things to plug. Um, All right. December 1st, stand-up comedy's come back here to Wright State University. Uh, my friend Eric Buscio, as you remember, he was the sidekick to my Super Diesel oh, the last yeah. time I was yeah. here. Eric's a funny dude he's, sometimes. sometimes. Yeah, most of the time. <laughs> yes, I'm, penis jokes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I'm pointing at Scott's live video feed because I'm wave, because he's got eight people watching. I'm waving at all of them. That's like two more than we got That's over two more here. than Don Smith. <laughs> I'm sorry, Don. Yeah, so Don Smith is... <laughs> Don hey, Smith's thanks loo- for bringing your peeps. I appreciate it. Hey, no problem. But yes, <laughs> Eric Bushu is hosting Sam Comedy on December 1st. It's going to be at the Antrim here at the Student Union. Um, I'm, I, I'll, if he gets on here, you, he can talk about what the whole um, everything about it. But it's going to raise money for the victims of the hurricane in Puerto Rico that happened last month. It's $10 per admission. I'm going to try to buy a ticket and go. It'll be my good deed for the season. But Eric Buscio is head, is hosting, and Tree Sanchez is the headlining act. Hmm. There's also six other comedians on the bill. If you're a comedian and you wish to be on the show or want to be involved, talk to Eric Buscio online, be friends with him, and see what he tells you because he's hosting. Eric, he, Eric doesn't have friends. No. Man, he <laughs> so He'll you probably yell at you, too. So he's in charge of the whole thing. He will yell at you. Yep. And the last thing I can plug, I'll be at Rocky's. Um, on December fourth, Rocky is having a holiday Christmas comedy special, and I will be performing. Yeah. And, so, right, and Rocky's, as always, has the best pizza in town. Yes, yes, Rocky's man, that food is beaver cream. Oh, out yeah. there, man. Awesome yeah, really good independent there. pizza. So right. I will be there December fourth, and so that's all my plugs. And Don, thank you again. Wait, oh, always wait a by. pleasure to have. Wait by to my friends that and you, Scotty. Yeah. Thank you. It's good doing a show with you. Yeah, man, it was fun. It was fun. All right. All right. Back now. Be, All right. Be, be, be kind to one another and happy holidays. Yep. Make right. me out. All right. We're going to play it. 
We're going to play some more Potter's Field and be back here shortly. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Life Podcast. Check us out on Eventide Entertainment's podcast network. Remember, if you want to listen live, we're on Wednesdays from noon to 2 p.m. on WWSU 106.9 FM, or you can always stream the show live at WWSU1069.org. If you have suggestions or comments for the show, feel free to email us at thelife1069 at gmail.com. Me. The brutal presence overwhelms me. Oh, yeah. I've been thinking, thinking, thinking about Sam to a Slim Jam. <laughs>